Hey guys, Property Search, Think Gladfish. I'm Brett Legerwood and this is Property Rant. So today, are interest rates going up? Um, and the answer is yes. The question really is when are interest rates going up and by how much, yeah? And the interesting thing is, and I, I've already sort of done a, a bit of a video on this before, and in fact, I've done a number of videos of this before, but look, you shouldn't have to worry about what interest rates are doing. And if you are, then you're not running your portfolio the way you really should be, okay? So what I use is a thing called mortgage cost averaging, okay? Now, what do I mean by mortgage cost averaging? There's a concept called dollar cost averaging in shares, which basically means that ignore what the share price is, if you've got $100 to invest every single month, then buy $100 worth of shares every single month, okay? And the dollar cost average of those shares, okay, so, so one month they might be up, you get to buy more shares. One month they might be down, sorry, up, get to buy less shares, down, buy more shares. But the dollar cost average of the share will be what you have paid for all shares effectively. And that's how I kind of treat my mortgage. In other words, what I do is I say, in the UK, 6%. I say my mortgage is gonna be at 6% on average over a long period of time, okay? That means that oftentimes it'll be below that, oftentimes it'll be above that. Now, the interesting thing, the last 10 years has been an interesting time because interest rates have been quite low and a lot of my interest rates are at 2.5%, 2.2%, and I think even 1.9%, I've got, you know, um, three, what is it, 3.5%, you know, so various interest rates I've got are all around that sort of thing, except for the stuff that I bought a little bit later or more recently, which is around 4.5%. You know, so, but the, the dollar cost average, and right now interest rates are quite low in 2017, but they're likely to start heading up, and they will, it will come back, yeah? A low interest rate environment doesn't help anyone, okay, certainly not savers, and if you've got money in the bank, it's, it's going backwards, inflation is, is killing it, all right? So, the dollar, the, the mortgage cost average simply means that Work out whatever the interest rate is in your country, okay, on average over the long period of time, and, and be a little bit, you know, on the high side, because if you be a little bit on the high side, that means you're leaving a bigger margin for error. And then assume, this is the key, so first of all, work out what that is, and then number two is, assume that you're paying that on your whole portfolio on all the properties. Okay, do that calculation, do it on a spreadsheet. You should have all, you should have an, uh, a spreadsheet that has all your properties, all your rents, mortgages, all your costs, da 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 da. You know, work out what that mortgage cost averaging is. And look, if you haven't got a spreadsheet, call the team, okay, and they will give you one of our spreadsheets, all right, that we have. So you can put all your stuff in, it has all the bits and pieces in it, show you how much capital you've got, and all this sort of stuff, yeah? It's really simple, just give the team a call. But if you haven't got that, get that, work it out, and let's say it's 6% you work it out of, or it might be 55 or whatever you feel is comfortable for you, okay? I mean, I work it at 6%. Even though my mortgages are quite lower than that, I assume, can I afford my mortgages at that level? And if I can't, then what I want to do, I want to deleverage a bit, okay? And where that means selling a property, or where that means buying another property with a higher yield, okay? So it could be that I want to rebalance by not selling, but actually buying more. That's a possibility. Okay, so by doing that, what you do is you become effectively immune to interest rates going up. And that's really where we want to get to in the ideal situation because yes, interest rates are going to be going up. 2017, uh, you know, maybe not 2017, maybe 2018, we'll see. Okay, there's lots of toing and froing right now and really the, the world market has not really seen what's going to happen with the Trump and you know, that sort of thing. We'll see what happens, but regardless, use mortgage cost averaging and then you can sleep well at night, you don't have to worry about it and you don't have to react immediately if interest rates do start going up, okay? Guys, have a great day, live with passion.